Into the Night by Suzanne Brockman Read by Deborah Hazlett Prologue Afghanistan Operation Enduring Freedom Lieutenant Junior Grade Michael Muldoon held up his hand and signaled for his squad to stop. Dark took on an entirely new meaning on a moonless night in a desolate country, too poor and too war-torn for electricity. He sensed more than saw his men behind him, hugging the cold, rocky ground as intimately as he was. He moved his hand again. Listen. The sky overhead was worthy of a beach blanket and a bottle of wine, the Milky Way thick with the billions of stars he didn't have a prayer of seeing from his city apartment a half a world away. It was breathtakingly beautiful. But Muldoon had no time to give it more than a cursory glance as he focused all of his attention on the distant hum of a generator. hoo It was always reassuring to know that they were, in fact, in the right place. The coordinates marking the main entrance of the cave on their map were correct. A map that was one of the somewhat dubious bonuses that came from the United States having helped build these allegedly indestructible compounds many years and several different political regimes ago. Not only did the SEALs have maps and specifications, but those maps were proving to be accurate. His men knew what they had to do, and when Muldoon gave the signal, they went silently to work. Their job tonight was to verify that the two known entrances to this cave were still where the map said they'd be, to verify coordinates for the Bunker Buster missiles that were scheduled to be launched from the Navy sub in less than two hours. The SEALs were to add additional explosives to various vulnerable points to give those bombs even bigger teeth. The mission was to seal this cave so that no one could get out, but more importantly, so that no one could get in. Cosmo Richter had gotten right down to the bottom line during their briefing when he'd asked in his no-frills telegram manner of speech, Osama inside? They'd all looked up from the maps. It was the question of the hour. Muldoon hated to disappoint them, but his answer had been no, not according to Nave Intel. However, this cave was being held by Taliban fighters with al-Qaeda ties and the U.S. goal was to cross this compound off the list of potential safe havens bin Laden could come to to hide. It was an important mission. It just wasn't the one they particularly wanted. He knew what his men were feeling. Each and every one of them, himself included, wanted to be part of the op that took down the terrorist leader. They all wanted to go mano a mano with the man, like some hokey Hollywood movie, and blow that back. Sample complete. Ready to continue?